Students, please rise and face the aisle for the faculty recession. Please remain standing as the President's party processes to the stage. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning. I'm Dr. David Zhang, professor from the Department of Kinesiology. As Grand Marshal, I would like to welcome you to the 2016 Spring Commencement Exercises with the College of Health Professions. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Kim Schatzel, the president of Towson University.
university community is assembled for commencement. Good morning, everyone. I welcome you to the 151st commencement in the proud history of Towson University. This is also the largest commencement we will be having this year, welcoming 654 new graduates from the College of Health Professions. This past year marked an important milestone for our institution. Founded in 1866 as Maryland's teacher training school, opening our doors with just seven students. Today, Towson University is recognized as one of the nation's best public universities. We offer our 22,000 students more than 100 bachelor's, master's, and doctoral degree programs. We are proud of our history, and now each of you are part of it. So today we will pause to celebrate you as our newest graduates and your significant academic achievements. It has been our pleasure to guide you, to mentor you, and watch your transformation. Let us begin with our national anthem, we will be led in singing by Ms. Samantha Bram, who received her Bachelor of Science degree in music education yesterday. She will be accompanied by Mr. Dewan Snowden, who will be signing. Mr. Snowden is receiving his Bachelor of Science degree in Deaf Studies this morning. Would everyone please stand, and gentlemen, please remove your hats. Thank you, Mrs. Bram and Mr. Snowden. At this time, I would like to pause for a moment of silence in honor of the faculty, staff, and students who have passed away during this year. Their names are listed on the screen above. Thank you, everyone. I would like to take a few moments to recognize our graduating veterans wearing green honor cords, members of our armed forces, the men and women on active duty, those in reserve units, and all the veterans in the audience today who have served our country. I would also like to recognize the graduates of the Army Reserve Officers Training Corps who will soon begin their service in the active Army, Army Reserves, or the Maryland Army National Guard. 
Would all our active military personnel and veterans please stand and be recognized for their service to our country? Thank you, and please be seated. It is wonderful to see all the smiling faces here today. The graduates are grinning with some relief, and I can see that all your families and friends are just beaming with pride. With your diverse backgrounds and lived experiences, each of you has enriched and enhanced our classrooms and our campus. At some point, you were likely challenged, surprised, and pushed outside of your comfort zone, both inside and outside the classroom. And all of it was part of your educational and personal development here at TU. Now you could enter your next endeavor not only stronger and wiser, but with a better understanding of what you are capable of and what you can offer the world. As the lyrics in our alma mater state, from different paths we've come, down different paths we'll go. Through change and through time, our spirits grow. How have you grown from this journey? How will you continue that growth? How are you different because of what you've learned here? What difference will you make in the world because of what you know now? These are questions that you will be thinking about today and the next weeks and months and years ahead. Graduates, part of celebrating you as you reach this significant milestone is recognizing the extraordinary effort required of each of you to arrive at this point. Perhaps you were motivated by overcoming diversity, adversity, providing for your family, an insatiable thirst for knowledge, continuing a family legacy, or a supportive mentor, faculty member, either here at TU or maybe back home. At commencement, we celebrate nearly 3,000 amazing graduates, each of you with your own incredible story. I would like to highlight just one of your classmates, and that is the story of Vera Beidou. Ms. Beidou, would you please stand? There she is over there. Ms. Beidou was, was born in Ghana, West Africa, and moved to Silver Spring, Maryland in 2003. She initially applied to Towson University simply because it was close to home, but her experience as a transfer student at TU was nothing short of magnificent. In the classroom, Vera learned skills that facilitated her success during her internship at Johns Hopkins Cardiovascular and Pulmonary Rehabilitation Unit. She has been heavily involved in undergraduate research and had the opportunity to work on her research, which examined the effects of brief bouts of stair climbing exercise on alertness to develop practical ways to countermeasure fatigue in individuals that work at night. Vera was able to use what she learned in the classroom in a real world setting by conducting research, analyzing, and presenting her research at the Maryland Sleep Society Conference. She counts her dedicated and attentive TU professors as playing a very big part in her success at Towson University and is grateful to all of them. Upon graduating from Towson, she will pursue a career in a physician assistant studies. Thank you, Vera, for allowing us to share your story very much. So graduates, as we launch your futures and we send you off today to use this incredible education and what you've learned from this entire experience to mark, make your mark in the world, you will forever be part of Towson University. So please keep coming back and please keep giving back so that we can continue to build on the legacy that makes Towson University a most special place and more importantly, a very special place to grow. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Timothy Chandler, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at Towson University.
Thank you, Madam President. The flags on display behind me represent several of the countries of our 58 international students graduating from Towson this spring. We are pleased to have more than 500 international students representing 74 nations as part of our Towson family. In addition to the international flags displayed today, you'll notice a number of graduates, faculty, and staff wearing black and gold pins signifying their support of the Tauga Commencement Pledge. This pledge is a voluntary commitment to become more active in their communities and to work for positive change in social and environmental conditions. We applaud these efforts by our graduates, faculty and staff. I now call upon Mr. James Milio, Vice President of the Student Government Association, to introduce representatives from the university's various boards. Mr. Milio, please. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, this morning we are pleased to be joined by a representative of the University System of Maryland Board of Regents, Mr. Thomas Slater, who will be congratulating our graduates on behalf of the Board of Regents. The 17-member board is a group of respected and prestigious professionals appointed by the governor to oversee quality, affordability, and accessibility to Maryland Institutes of Higher Education. Mr. Slater was appointed to the Board of Regents in July of 2007 He's the founder and principal partner of Slater & Slater, a law firm offering counsel in social security disability and a range of domestic and criminal litigation. He is a former Frederick County public school teacher and an adjunct instructor at Frederick Community College. Mr. Slater obtained his BA from Frostburg State University, an MA from the George Washington University, and a JD from University of Baltimore School of Law. Mr. Slater is a member of several professional associations, including the Maryland State Bar Association and the Maryland State Teachers Association. He is actively engaged in his alma mater, having served on Frostburg's Board of Visitors, Alumni Association, and Foundation Boards. He is also a past recipient of the Frostburg State University Alumni Achievement Award. Please welcome USM Regent Thomas Slater, Esquire. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm delighted to join you and extend best wishes from the University System of Maryland on behalf of the Board of Regents on this tremendous day. It's an honor to share this occasion with Dr. Kim Schatzel, who is presiding over her first commencement ceremonies since joining Towson as president earlier this year. Towson University stands as a vibrant hub for the entire greater Baltimore community, flexing its muscle as an economic, social, and cultural force. And Towson is increasingly acknowledged as an institution of true excellence. U.S. News and World Report, the Princeton Review, Kiplinger's Personal Finance, and the Washington Monthly have all singled out Towson for praise. While still early in her tenure, Dr. Schatzel is advancing a strong vision of excellence for this outstanding institution, building upon this tremendous success. Most importantly, though, it's an honor to be here and recognize and congratulate you, the members of the graduating class of 2016. As Towson brings a close to the celebration of its 150th anniversary year, today you become an enduring part of Towson's proud and impressive legacy. What you, have what you have accomplished has taken hard work, persistence, and dedication. Today we celebrate the completion of your journey. Congratulations. I know your family and friends take a great deal of pride in what you have accomplished. They have shared in your sacrifice and certainly should share in your success today. No matter what direction your life now takes, no matter what challenges you will next confront, know that your education here has prepared you well. Towson also takes justifiable pride in the ethic of service that runs so deep within the Towson community. I hope you will continue to honor this tradition. 
Once again, congratulations to all of you, and know that the entire University System of Maryland family wishes you all the best in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Regent Slater. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, this morning we are also pleased to have six members of the University's Board of Visitors. Mr. Ted Zaleski, Ms. Molly Schock, Mr. Joel Bowling, Dr. Tim Sullivan, Dr. Patricia Hoagie, and Dr. Fran Soisman, who will bring congratulations and greetings on behalf of the Board. The Board of Visitors is a group of professionals who advise and guide the President. Dr. Soisman has served on the Towson University Board of Visitors since 2005. He is a 1979 graduate of Towson State University where he earned a BS in Accounting and Finance. He is also a 1990 graduate of the Stanford University Executive Program. With more than 30 years of experience in health insurance and managed care, Dr. Soisman is Executive Vice President of Aetna and President of the Government Services segment where he is responsible for leading a portfolio of high growth business consisting of Medicare, Medicaid, Individual and Public Exchange, and the Federal Employees Health Benefits Program. He is a past recipient of the Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award in the Healthcare Technology Services category. Please welcome Dr. Fran Soisman. Thank you, Mr. Milio, for that introduction. Appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dr. Schatzel, Regent Slater, Dr. Chandler, distinguished guests, honored faculty, families, and most importantly, the graduates. On behalf of the President's Advisory Group, the Board of Visitors, I bring you greetings and congratulations on this significant accomplishment. It is our pleasure and pride to see you graduate today as you become part of Towson University's prestigious 150-year legacy of scholarship, personal excellence, and public service. It is the diverse backgrounds and experience of the board members that makes us valuable advisors to the president. Each of us comes from different industries, different career paths, and different walks of life. But despite all of our differences, we are all unified in our passion to advance and enhance the Towson University story. Towson University closes the chapter of its 150th anniversary milestone this year. We've celebrated how our institution's story has evolved to serve its students and the needs of our ever-changing world. Each of you holds within you a unique story of success. Your story may have a humble beginning, a stroke of luck, a triumph, over adversity, or your story may still be in the making. But no matter what your story may be, especially if it's riddled with twists and turns, never underestimate its potential to inspire or help others. Whether you view today as a milestone or a capstone in your educational journey, significantly more opportunities now lie ahead of you because of your education and experiences here at Towson University. As TU graduates, you now hold an important responsibility to be good stewards of your education and use it to make a difference in the world. Always embrace the opportunity to serve or share your experiences. But be prepared to continue investing in your education so that your career can provide you a lifetime of value and professional satisfaction. On behalf of the Board of Visitors, I once again offer our sincerest congratulations. Wherever life takes you from here, continue to seek out opportunities to lead, serve, and please stay connected to Towson University. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Soisman. We are also fortunate this morning to welcome Mr. James Torrance, member of Towson University's Alumni Association, who will bring words of welcome and congratulations to our new graduates. Please welcome Mr. James Torrance. Good morning. 
As a member of the Alumni Association and a proud graduate of the class of 2010, I am honored to be here today representing the more than 151,000 alumni who have graduated from this remarkable institution. Each of these alumni has their own story to tell about the success they have achieved as a result of their education at Towson. My own story would not have been possible without the education, the experiences, and the remarkable connections I made here at Towson University. Today, you join 3,414 graduates that make up the class of 2010. 2016, excuse me. <laughs> Your class represents 27 out of our 50 states, with New Jersey and New York having the largest number of graduates outside of the state of Maryland. Ten of you are the sole representatives of your home state. We know this class was very engaged and active as a majority of the current seniors and graduate students participated in it, internships and experiential learning projects this past semester. Additionally, members of the graduating class were involved in collegiate athletics and a variety of co-curricular activities. All of this while having an average class GPA of, wait for it, a 3.51. We know that most of you will stay here, right here in Maryland after graduation because on average, 71% of Towson alumni call Maryland home. Although alumni live in every state across America in 84 countries, Perhaps you will join more than 6,000 alumni that marry a fellow Towson alum, or that you will become one of over 1,000 alumni who come back to your alma mater in either a faculty or staff position. Whatever path you decide to take, remember you will always be a part of the growing Towson alumni network, and we want you to stay connected to your alma mater. The Alumni Association will help you to do this. We look forward to hearing about your accomplishments and successes. As, we, as a welcoming gift to the Alumni Association, you will be presented with a seedling as a reminder of remember your Towson roots. On behalf of thousands who have preceded you, it is my privilege to congratulate you on your outstanding achievements. Congratulations again, and on this very special day. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Torrance. It is right now my pri privilege and my pleasure to ask those parents and grandparents in the audience who are Towson alumni to please stand. And now can I ask all Towson alumni to please stand? All Towson alumni, please stand. We want to thank you, all of you, for your pride in your alma mater, as well as your continued support and loyalty to Towson University. You may be seated. Once again, I call upon Mr. James Milio to introduce our first student speaker. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce our undergraduate student speaker, Ms. Allison Fisher, who is graduating today with a Bachelor of Science degree in Deaf Studies and Art. Please welcome Ms. Allison Fisher. Thank you, James Milio, for that introduction. Good morning, faculty, family, friends, and of course, graduates. In one word, how would you capture your Towson experience? Think about it. In the, the word that encapsulates my college journey is tree. 
As I became immersed in Towson's communities, the seeds of inspiration began to blossom into branches of experiences. As an incoming freshman, Project Serve was the seed of joy and connection through service, which grew into my first community at Towson. Engaging in the Baltimore community with Project Serve motivated me to start my own community, woven together with harmonies and rhythms. We called ourselves Original Blend Acapella, as each of us was quirky in our own way, yet collectively we blended together. This welcoming energy came to define our Original Blend family as we share our joy of music. Through pursuing my passion for signing, the deaf community took root in my life during my semester at Gallaudet, the world's only liberal arts university for deaf individuals. I gained insight into my peers' vibrant personal stories and diverse perspectives, and experienced the unified campus through conversing in a creative mode of self-expression. I found my home by connecting to my heritage through the Jewish deaf community, celebrating holidays and sharing Shabbat meals together. Gallaudet enabled me to bring this immersive visual approach back to Towson for my senior year, which deepened my expressive identity as an artist. The support of ceramics community watered my rooted passions for creativity and for facilitating artistic expression by people of all abilities through various mediums. Now, it's your turn to participate. In a moment, I'm gonna ask you to stand. In the meantime, think about all the communities and shared moments that have inspired you throughout your Towson journey. In a word or two, where did you feel connected? Maybe it was a place, a person, a hobby, or an activity. Where did you find your home? If we all act together, we can form a connection among our passions, creating one voice. When I count to three, please stand and express your word in a way that feels most natural to you, whether shouting, singing, or signing. You ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Thank you for sharing your passions. As we each contributed our words, we connected our personal journeys and united ourselves among our differences. Small, collective moments can truly impact us, shift our perspective, and inspire us to grow as leaders, learners, teachers, and dreamers. As we prepare to become mentors and professionals in new settings, we shall appreciate the family, friends, and teachers who have supported us and empowered us. Our passion-filled branches enable us to be the creators of change, to inspire unity among our communities. Enjoy embarking on your upcoming journey. Embrace your individuality and always reflect upon our shared experiences at Towson. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Fisher. Good morning. I am Amanda Keister, Vice President of the Graduate Student Association. Madam President, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our graduate student speaker, Ms. Regina Smith, who is graduating today with a Master of Science degree in Occupational Therapy. Please welcome Ms. Regina Smith. Thank you, Amanda Keister, for that introduction. Good morning, distinguished guests, friends, families, and fellow graduates. As graduates of the College of Health Professions, all of us have great potential to impact the lives of others. In fact, that is why we chose our majors. Our strong desires to serve led us to pursue the fields of study that best complemented our unique gifts and talents. Thus, our educational experiences here at Towson have been the bridge between our desire to serve and our ability to carry out that desired service. 
In many ways, those experiences have given us far more than just the academic knowledge we needed. They have provided us with valuable life lessons to carry with us as we enter into our careers. For example, as we entered our fields of study, we probably envisioned this relationship in which we would be the givers and our patients would be the receivers. However, one of the things I have learned, and I'm sure many of you have as well, is that oftentimes the people who we think we are serving are really the ones who are teaching us the most. And that is something that makes our profession so rewarding. We constantly get to learn from others and their different perspectives. Which brings me to my second lesson. As students, I'm sure we can all relate to feeling like you always need to have the right answer. But I have learned this is simply impossible. Regardless of how many years of practice we may have, we will never know everything. Therefore, learning from others' perspectives, whether that be our clients, mentors, coworkers, families, or friends, will always be important. Looking out into the audience, I'm sure there is something I could learn from every single one of you that would make me a better person or a better therapist. With that in mind, we should all take a moment today to thank the individuals in our lives who have led us to this very moment. Thank you to our professors who encouraged us and pushed us to reach our full potential. Thank you to our classmates who have supported us, who have shared in our ups and downs, and who have become lifelong friends. And most importantly, thank you to our parents and families who are the ones who have truly inspired us through their example, unconditional love, support, and guidance. Today we thank them with words, but I think the best way we can thank them is to pay forward that loving care that they have shown us into the lives of all those we encounter. Congratulations, class of 2016. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Today, Towson University is proud to present the honorary degree, Doctor of Humane Letters, to an individual whose service has resulted in significant contributions to higher education, the community, to his or her field of endeavor, or to society in general. It is with great pleasure that I announce that the 2016 recipient of our honorary degree is Maestra Marin Alsa conductor and music director of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. Please direct your attention to the video screens for our special presentation. Marin Alsop is an inspiring and powerful voice in the international music scene. A music director of vision and distinction who passionately believes that music has the power to change lives. She is recognized across the world for her innovative approach to programming, her deep commitment to education, and to the development of audiences of all ages. As music director of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra since 2007, and her artistic leadership in Baltimore, Marin Alsop has created bold initiatives that have contributed to the wider community and reached new audiences. In 2008, she launched ORCHIDS, which provides music, education, instruments, meals, and mentorship to the city's neediest young people. Towson University is proud to have faculty and students involved in this important initiative. A champion of education, it is my pleasure to present Towson University's 2016 Honorary Doctorate recipient, Maestra Marin Alsop. Thank you for this incredible honor. You know, the Baltimore Symphony and Towson University have a rich history together. Celebrating our 100th anniversary this year and Towson celebrating its 150th anniversary this year, it feels like the perfect moment to celebrate this partnership. You know, 50 years ago, the BSO performed on campus at Towson University at Stevens Hall Theater. Today, we have new and varied partnerships on many levels together. We're teaming up with WTMD to promote and present a brand new concert series at the BSO called Pulse. 
The BSO is teaming up with local indie bands to present concerts that are so popular they're already all sold out. So that's one way we're partnering. On another level, many of our BSO musicians serve as faculty members at Towson University. Another wonderful partnership is the fact that we've commissioned one of the faculty members at Towson to write not just one work for the BSO, but two fantastic pieces which we premiered here in Baltimore. And many of your graduate students are working with us, especially teaching at our After School Orchids program. This is a program that serves 1,100 kids in East and West Baltimore. Very, very important contribution to the community that we're making together. Having a quality education in a safe, nurturing environment is critical to every young person's success. It's so wonderful to have Towson University right here, right here in this community, and to be such an important partner to the Baltimore Symphony. Thank you for everything you do, and thank you for this great honor. Commencement is one of the happiest days of the year on campus. We celebrate first and foremost the graduates of whom we are all so very proud. There are many here today who share in their accomplishments. There is in particular one very special group whose contributions deserve full recognition. We have one of the finest graduating classes in Maryland because we have one of the finest faculties assembled anywhere. Will the faculty of the university please rise so they can be recognized? Thank you. Also joining us on the platform today are the leaders of the university, those responsible for facilitating our academic and student programs, and who, through their dedication and their expertise, enable the success of our students. I ask that these individuals please rise and remain standing as I introduce you. The Vice Presidents of the University, the Vice Provost, Deans and Associate Dean, members of the Board of Regents, the Board of Visitors, the Alumni Association, the University Senate, the American Association of University Professors, the Towson University Staff Council, and members of the Student Government Association and the Graduate Student Association. Please join me in a round of applause to show our appreciation for their leadership. Thank you and please be seated. I would also thank the faculty members who are serving as marshals, readers, and name card presenters for this ceremony. Would you also please stand to be recognized? And in addition to the faculty, there are well over 100 dedicated staff members from all over the campus, including our gracious volunteers who have worked to put this most special ceremony together. Please join me as we recognize everyone who has made this amazing ceremony possible. Now graduates, I know that you've had a lot of support in your journey to today. So let's see if we can give some thanks to those special individuals. So to begin, will the mothers and fathers of our graduates please rise and remain standing. Will the brothers and sisters, significant others, sons and daughters of the graduates also rise? Will the grandparents, great-grandparents, and grandchildren of the graduates please rise? And now will all the friends and families of the graduates please rise? Graduates, get up and find your families and thank them for what they've done.
Thank you, everyone, for being so supportive of our graduates. You all may now be seated. I would also like to take a moment to acknowledge retiring faculty and staff who are concluding their distinguished careers at Towson this semester. As the names of all our retiring faculty and staff appear on the screen, please join me in thanking them for their service. Before the most important part of the ceremony begins, I have an announcement concerning the order of the procession. So that you may find your particular graduate in the procession, graduates will come forward alphabetically. Also, if you would please limit your applause and shouts for your graduate, and you know who you are, Out of respect to the graduate immediately following yours, we would be most, most grateful. Provost Chandler will now join me for the conferring of the degrees. <laughs> Assisting in awarding the doctoral degrees will be Dr. Lisa Plowfield, Dean of the College of Health Professions, and Dr. Janet Delaney, Dean of Graduate Studies. Will the candidates for the degree of Applied Doctor of Audiology please stand? I now ask Drs. Jennifer Smart and Peggy Korshak to escort the candidates to the stage, please. Madam President, on recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present those candidates who meet all requirements for the degree of Applied Doctor of Audiology. I am pleased to receive these candidates for the doctoral degree. A doctoral degree demonstrates a special effort to develop your academic talents and strengthen your skills in research and clinical practice. It is now your responsibility to apply these capabilities in the service of humanity. The escorting of the candidate by the dean of the college and their advisor or chair symbolizes the support provided throughout the educational process. Once hooded, the candidate is referred to as doctor and walks across the stage alone, symbolizing their achievement of academic excellence. By the authority vested in me by the University System of Maryland's Board of Regents and the State of Maryland, I confer upon you the degree of Applied Doctor of Audiology with all the responsibilities, honors, rights, and privileges thereunto pertaining. Congratulations. I now ask Dr. Diana Emanuel, Chair of the Department of Audiology, Speech Language Pathology, and Deaf Studies to present the candidates for the degree of Applied Doctor in Audiology. Please note there is more information about the candidates printed in your programs. Madam President, our first candidate for the degree of Applied Doctor of Audiology is Ms. Kimberly Louise Amrod. Ms. Amrod's doctoral thesis is entitled A Survey of First-Year Speech-Language Pathology and Audiology Graduate Students on the Graduate School Application Process, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Jennifer Smart. I present Dr. Kimberly Louise Amrod. Madam President, our second candidate is Ms. Randy Lynn Cropper. Ms. Cropper's thesis is entitled, The Effects of Adverse Listening Conditions on the Subcortical Neural Encoding of Speech Stimuli um, in Normal Hearing Adults, prepared under the supervision of Drs. Sharda Anantakrishnan and Peggy Korchak. 
I, I present Dr. I got to make sure everybody hears this. This is really important. <laughs> I present Dr. Randy Lynn Cropper. Madam President, our third candidate is Ms. Molly Burns Day. Ms. Day's thesis is entitled, Evaluation of Test Outcome Equivalency of Different Test Versions in Assessing for Auditory Processing Disorder, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Stephanie Nagel and hooded today by Dr. Jennifer Smart. I present Dr. Molly Burns Day. Madam President, our fourth candidate is Ms. Tessa Ariel Durney. Ms. Durney's thesis is entitled, Normative Data for the Sinusoidal Harmonic Acceleration and Visual Suppression Subtests of Rotational Testing for the Towson University Hearing and Balance Center, prepared under my supervision. I present Dr. Tessa Ariel Durney. Madam President, our fifth candidate is Ms. Lauren Michelle Fong. Ms. Fong's thesis is entitled, Testing for Auditory Processing Disorder in Children Using New Normative Values, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Jennifer Smart. I present Dr. Lauren Michelle Fong. Madam President, our sixth candidate is Ms. Emily Garrett. Ms. Garrett's thesis is entitled, Parental Experiences with Early Childhood Services for Their Children with Hearing Loss, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Stephanie Nagel and hooded today by Dr. Jennifer Smart. I present Dr. Emily Garrett. Madam President, our seventh candidate is Mr. Donald Antonio Guillen. Mr. Guillen's thesis is entitled, The Effect of Reverberation on Subcortical Neural Encoding of Speech Stimuli in Normal Hearing Adults, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Sharda Anantakrishnan and hooded today by Dr. Peggy Korchek. I present Dr. Donald Antonio Guillen. Madam President, our eighth candidate is Ms. Kristen Ashley Hartman. Ms. Hartman's thesis is entitled, Effectiveness of Unisensory and Multisensory Training in the Identification of Weapon Function Sounds, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Stephanie Nagel and hooded today by Dr. Jennifer Smart. I present Dr. Kristen Ashley Hartman. Madam President, our ninth candidate is Ms. Laura Michelle Summers. Ms. Summers' thesis is entitled, The Effects of Background Noise on Subcortical Neural Encoding of Speech Stimuli in Normal Hearing Adults, prepared under the supervision of Dr. Sharda Anantakrishnan and hooded today by Dr. Peggy Korchak. I present Dr. Laura Michelle Summers. Madam President, our 10th and final candidate is Mr. Tin Duck Truong. Mr. Truong's thesis is entitled, Normative Data Study on Evoked Myogenic Potential, prepared under my supervision. I present Dr. Tin Duck Truong.
Let us all congratulate the graduates receiving the applied doctor degree once more. Will the candidates for master's degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates from the College of Health Professions please stand. <clears throat> Madam President, on recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present those students who meet all requirements for the degrees of Master of Science or post-baccalaureate certificates. I am pleased to receive these candidates for graduate degrees and post-baccalaureate certificates by the authority vested in me by the University System of Maryland's Board of Regents and the State of Maryland, I confer upon you the recommended degree with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations, graduates. Graduates, as you approach the stage, please follow the directions of the marshals. And once on stage, you'll shake the hand of your dean or the dean of graduate studies to receive your alumni gift and congratulations. You'll then exit using the center stairs and be directed back to your seat by the marshal. Thank you. Good morning. I'm Dr. Beth Merriman, professor from the Department of Occupational Therapy and Occupational Science. It is my pleasure to introduce the students receiving a graduate degree or post-baccalaureate certificate from the College of Health Professions. Introducing the graduates with me is Dr. Michael Higgins, professor from the Department of Kinesiology. Lauren Elizabeth Adams. Regina C. Smith. Kaylin Asbury. Lindsay B. Campbell. Kristen Ann Bobbin. Eliza N. Toshak. Kimberly Renee Barr. Jeffrey Scott Uman. Sharice Nicole Batts. Lillian Kathleen Barnwell. Brittany Nicole Bixenbaum. Sarah Elizabeth Bateman. Holly Caitlin Callanan. Caitlin Erin Byer. Bria Lynn Kaplan. Caitlin Shea Bradley. Amanda Elizabeth Crest. Jillian N. Burkirk. Nicole Denise Cooley. Pilar Fallon Kaplan. Delk Crothamel. Emily Noel Cavello. Melissa Ashley DeLeon. Nicole Rosario Coletti. Maria Elizabeth Donaldson. Mary Teresa Countryman. Caroline Elizabeth Curran. Caitlin Marie DeAnthony. Kirsten Fischel. Lindsay Jordan Dermer. Kristen Nicole Eisenman. Christy Jennifer Early. Catherine Margaret Good. Christine Deanna Feinauer. Ashley Lynn Gilday. Angela Maria Eckard. Amanda P. Henson. Rami Alexa, Alexa Fries. Megan Hollister. Grabler. Melissa Marie Grabler. 
Rebecca Leah Jacobson. Caitlin Rose Hendricks. Christine Marie Jones. Catherine Marie Larson. Megan Elizabeth Kelly. <laughs> Kennery Conestopoulos Marvorophilus. Sorry. Jenna Elizabeth Hauser. Tierra Nicole Jones. Amy Elizabeth Jeskus. Allison Christine Holmes. Jordan Rose Kowaleski. Taylor Panzerino. Paige Amanda Madeiras. Gabriella Murata. Chelsea Morgan Miller. Marissa Jean Insina. Megan Elizabeth Murray. Janelle Christine Mana. Christina Diana O'Neill. Erin Elizabeth Johnson. Natalie Renee Hill. Brittany Danielle Page Kaufman. Alexandra Diane Jones. Julianne Laura Kemler. Sarah Ann Marr. Heather Renee Kreitzler. Autumn K. Mobley. Juliana Rose Moots. Colleen Marie O'Neill. Marissa Renee Kennedy. Dana Christine Masello. Nicole Rose Immediato. Allison Gail Moore. Lara Marie Roach. Edith Cynthia Osai. Lauren Ashley Redding. Shannon Taylor Parker. Cheryl Dawn Nitz. Megan Munn Reed. Erin Michelle Nolan. Emily Rogers. Kristen Marie Rita. Bethany Rudy. Erica Ashley Wrighton. Nicole Rose Rennie. Jennifer Lynn Rogers. Caitlin Ann Shug. Genevieve Senatilian. Amanda Lynn Sullivan. Amber Ellen Sherrod. Christina Elizabeth Terranova. Colleen Mary Sweeney. Erica Lee Trump. <laughs> Tiffany Michelle Thomas Brown. Taylor Marie Westoff. Sarah Mayera Vogel. Julia Abigail Whitmer. Mindy Weiner. Karena Gladys Yamonchi. Melissa Wurzel. Alicia Catherine Zagowski. Ying Young Yuk. Is he? Madam President, this concludes those individuals receiving graduate degrees or post baccalaureate certificates from the College of Health Professions. The Honors College at Towson University provides an enhanced undergraduate experience for over 800 talented and high achieving students. Honors students are encouraged to seek academic excellence and leadership opportunities that go beyond the traditional college experiences. Students graduating from the Honors College must complete 24 units of required honors coursework, including interdisciplinary seminars and research. Each graduate of the Honors College is wearing a medallion on a black and gold ribbon to commemorate his or her achievements today. May I ask all students graduating from the Honors College 
to please rise so that we may recognize you. Congratulations. Thank you, please be seated. Additionally, Latin honors will be awarded to the top 10% of each college. Uh, these honors will appear on your transcript and your individual diplomas. Now, will the candidates for baccalaureate degrees from the College of Health Professions please stand? Madam President, on recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present those students who meet all requirements for the degrees of Bachelor of Technical and Professional Studies, Bachelor of Arts, and Bachelor of Science. I am pleased to receive these candidates by the authority vested in me by the University System of Maryland's Board of Regents and the State of Maryland. I confer upon you the recommended degree with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Congratulations, graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce those individuals receiving baccalaureate degrees from the College of Health Professions. Congratulating the graduates will be Dr. Lisa Plowfield, Dean of the College, and Dr. Marcy Weinstein, Associate Dean of the College. Christian Allen Abbott. Allison Elisa Fisher. Olabunmi B. Adewunmi. Dewan Antonio Snowden. Alexandra Kiriaki Aiken. Paige Elizabeth Holmes. Mary R. Albrecht. J. Hun Kim. Caitlin Victoria Alicia. Jordan Andrew Barber. Noel Ama. Veranani Hanubebu. Timothy Jonathan Ames. <laughs> Janelle Echemwarfa. Judami Sisabel Amaya. Denise Marie Okor. Michelle Onanisha Anaba. Justina Hanakora. Alexandra Maria Andre. Harris Mobai Ayako. John A. Ateme. Robin Elizabeth Alexander. Summer Gail Austin. Shavan Elmodinger. German Fier Bacchus. Haswana Almudid. Tiffany Elaine Badawi. Megan L. Emmett. Brittany Lorraine Asha Barber. Alexander Germain Amos. Marissa Celeste Barnett. Ya Owusuwa Umupufa. Olivia Hope Bender. Chelsea Rose Andrews. Matthew Benjamin Bass. Michael Christopher Anthony. Karen Tammy Berdyshevsky. Victoria Corinne Appler. Alyssa Colette Best. Hannah Marie Ayestas. Nicole Lynette Bivens. 
Johnny Rachel Banks. Catherine Elizabeth Blasveren. Teresa Largo Barnes. Michael James Black. Ashley Ellison Barnett. Robert John Bowersox. Taylor Lauren Battaglia. Emily A. Braverman. Lauren Elise Bacal. Wayne O'Neill Bromwell III. Nicholas Gerard Bickerstaff. Rosina Budakaki. Brian Dominic Beagle. Mary Kathleen Bufa. Gabrielle Nicole Blaylock. Taylor Lynn Birch. Nicole N. Blum. Aaron Brandon Burton. Chad Lawrence Brady. Taylor Alexandra Bird Paris. Joy Lena Braley. Bruce Ignatius Campbell. Emily Catherine Breidenbaugh. Lyndon Neil Caparis. Jessely Lynn Brown. Aaron Matthew Carback. Daniel Nicole Bryant. Ian Matthew Sarah. <laughs> Is it Bully? <laughs> Jessica Marie Bully. Victoria Renee Carey. Besty Rebecca Burke. Rachel Lynn Carney. Burzio. Erica Renee Burzio. Angela Nicole Charlier. Marvin John Cabotaye. Alyssa Nicole Chochas. Zachary Paul Campbell. Gavin James Class. John Stephen Capolello. Mackenzie Cockrell. Campbell Paul Carberry. Austin Ellison Combs. Lorelee Marie Carey. Linda Marie Cook. Olivia R. Carlson. Sean Douglas Crafton. Dominique Devrin Carter. Andrew Cordez. Frederica. Frederica Sharina Chase. Shelby Lynn Crawford. Joseph Cerrone. Vincent Robert DeCunto. Brittany L. Klein. Margot Nicole Darnell. Karen Byrne Cohen. Corin Janelle Davis. Chelsea Jean Conrad. Brett Dietrich. Mary Kate Coltler. Gina Marie Lucille De Los Santos. Adam Jeffrey Korn. Joseph Christ. Patrick Dizio. Justin Thomas Kreitz. Christina F. Diaz. Kelsey Crowley. Sarah Elizabeth DeVito. Ronald Clark Dancy. Maria Camille Joyce DeMandal. Andrew Scott Davis. Nicholas Braden DiPietro. Molly Nicole Davis. Emily Margaret Donlin. Lauren Rose Delmont. Rachel Marie Dove. Ariel DePaul. Jean Marie Dumanshell. Shacha Naomi Chacha. Chacha Devadis. Chioma Blessing Ijobu. Allison Erica Dietz. James Irving Davis. Michael James Irving Davis. Jennifer Lynn Denoto. 
Casey Lee Erickson. Tierra Nashon Dolberry. Sydney Ilana Elkin. Alexander Scott Dorrell. Bridget Etheridge May. Hannah Joyce Doolin. Amanda Grace Evans. Tiffany N. Dunn. Rebecca Jesse Fellmeister. Alexander Joseph Elliott. Nicholas Todd Fordham. Jennifer Lane Irwin. Jillian E. Fildor. Amayo Shayon Sete. Dina Marie Fowler. Marcy Awani Jane Estuvis. Victoria Lee Frasco. Raleigh May Campanella Ituli. Nigel Gabadon. Samuel Tanner Evans. Catherine Marie Gaiman. Nicole Marie Fegler. Megan Elizabeth Gollin. Jillian Mackenzie Erdrick. Christina Don Jacoby. Latoya Vernell Ford. Charles Joseph Fazzini. Hope Elizabeth Faust. Kevin Paolo Garcia. Ashley Nicole Fox. Alyssa Renee Graneman. Crystal Nicole Fur. James Matthew Grevenitz. Ashley Ann Gabo. Yeah. Justin Michael Jonas. Anna Garcia. Daniel John Harrison. Kayvon Jazzy. Dominic Michael Garagna. Alexis M. Gayon. Kiera Lee Harley. Rebecca Lynn Gordon. Marquette Charday Hampton. Michael Paul Gentili. Megan Elizabeth Georgia. Alexis Taylor Green Lynch. Sarah Elizabeth Grohl. Jeffrey Kerr Gooding. Danielle Nicole Junta. George Thomas Gatsis. Guerrera Kristen Gabriel. Sina Gurma. Angela Christine Gargano. Jenna Michelle Grichi. Danielle M. Gordy. Heiser. Philip John Heiser. Shannon Elizabeth Hadaway. Huey. Matthew Rowan Huey. Brianna Ashley Ham. Jake Ryan Hinman. Kevin Michael Hendricks. Taylor M. Hooper. Madeline Rose Heyman. John T. Huffsiger. Peyton Lynn Hobson. Zachary Daniel Grossbard. Ashley Shanae Hines. Yuritza Guzman. Emmanuel A. Holder. <clears throat> Rachel Marie Eckmeister. Taylor Ashley Hood. Chelsea Kibler Hall. Michelle Alyssa Kane. Fajay D. Harris. Amanda E. Chevalier. 
Michelle Vivian Hines. Christina Marie Lorfing. Crystal Brianna Hastings. McKenna E. Dunphy. Cassandra. Cassandra Lynn Hood. Mary Elizabeth Ingram. Abigail J. Greco. Deanna Marie Hill. Aaron E. Hanley. Emily Marie Lapone. Courtney Teresa Latecki. Ryan Kent Heisler. Nicole Elizabeth Baird. Allison Marie Holtz. Haley New. Justin Hupp. Abir Hamid. Zoe Yano Fletcher. Timothy Michael Heinrich. Simone LaShawn Isaacs. Kaylin Ann Helmick. Nala Kuji Jackson. Anna Michelle Heiken. Kelsey Lee Jarman. Iris Lee Hallback. Emily Bupre Jenkins. Casey Todd Hogan. Hajaraju Job. Patricia Nicole Hughes. Armani Janae Johnson. Jamie Nicole Hutchinson. Tiana Renee Johnson. Apple Joyce Francisco Inacia. Mary Elizabeth Johnston. Laura Iriabi. Kadachitu Kore Kamara. Aaron Lewis Jackson. Elizabeth Marie Kempsky. Lindsay Nicole Janoski. Summer Kazmi. Heather Aaron Jenny. Fode Kanu. Rachel E. Jursa. Dion Kim. Anya Caitlin Johnson. Anya Caitlin Johnson. Samaja Lachelle King. Samaja Jamel King. Dominique Nicole Johnson. Miranda Rachel Klein. Sade C. Johnson McLean. Alice Lim Kong. Ajane Mariah Jones. Aaron M. Kelly. Rachel Bela Kansky. Nicole L. Cosmos. Natalie Nicole Kern. Amy D. Krimker. Kavalaskis? Kavalaskis. Joseph Anthony Kavalaskis. Savannah N. Cutts. Aisha Kegundo. Samuel Edward Kidd III. Christine Lenore King. Alexandra Brink Larson. Melanie Victoria Kirk. Sierra Danielle Lee. Kaylee Marie Clip. Nico Ira Lady. Sahar Portajust. Donald Thomas Lenardi. Samantha Ellis Klingerman. Allison A. Lowry. Ameo Miriam Larissa Kundea. James 
Robert Lewis. Un Saku. Duncan Samuel Leonard. Yi Katerina Kunetsuva. Blake Marie Lorenz. Stephanie Marie Kutkowski. Melanie Ann Lutz. Darby H. Lawson. Lakiana Ruvimbo Makure. Nana Jebba Lee. Alexi Marie Perella. Kara Marie Lenhoff. Nicole Ashley Deladon. David Martin Lowenstein. Aaron Nicole Roach. Natalie Michelle Lowry. Callie Sophie Monty. Tamima Luchansky. Jenna Aaron Fedarici. Matthew I. Lubin. Sydney Davino. Holly Elizabeth Lundy. Matthew Thomas McGuire. Daniel Gregory Lunds. Daniel Scott Livingston. Ashley Marie Machado. Nicole Melchion. Alyssa Lynn Manuel. Amanda Claire Mills. Amanda Ray Marcioni. Eric Andrew Manser. James M. Mast. Leora Ann Match. Mediola. Lorraine Judith Mediola. Andrew McCarthy. Brendan May. Brendan Michael May. Erica Joanne McCreary. Erica Louise McGugan. Zibi Zhang Billy Jacobson. Brianna McElhaney. Jewel Alexandria McCauley. Shannon Marie McLaughlin. Sarah Victoria McKercher. McLean? McLean, McLean. Ariel Dene McLean. Jordan Elizabeth Meredith. Nicolette Renee Mercer. Elizabeth Manza. Sierra A. Marty. Lindsay Alexa Miller. Portia DeBraca Malone. Jordan Alyssa Monk. Aviva Michelle Match. Amy Kathleen Morales. Michael John Matrone. Marcus Andrew Mike's Morton. Brandon Kenneth Mikesell. John Randolph Murphy. Shannon Christy McNeil. Brittany Deshaun Murray. Alexandra Barry McVeigh. Meredith Ann Miller. Samantha Claire Mercer. Samantha Marie Murray. Sarah Carolyn Michael. Courtney Nicole Nardone. Mitchling. Timothy Ellen Mitchling. Kelsey Elizabeth Neary. Melissa Gail Miller. G. Ashley Moon. Taisha Lachey Moody. Daniel Patrick Murphy. Taylor Aaron Munro. Scott Thomas Mitchell. Jamie Lynn Jones. 
Megan Kimberly Ava Rose Neal. Timothy James Murphy. Nicholas Dennison Neal. Gregory James Misakio. Tuan Nguyen. Doreen. Doreen Nachambuke. Andy Ellen Nichols. Maria Francis Newsom. Patrick Colin Nigel. Brandon James Myers. Priscilla Emmanuel. Brown Tiamwa. Eduardo Emmanuel Moreno. Grace Senyu Afori. Tyler Matthew Nally. Riley Anthony James O'Hara. Anthony Andrew Gwynn. Victoria Elizabeth Ollier. Brittany Wynn. Courtney Danielle Offer. Juice. Haley Rebecca Ann Norman. Haley Aloui Pakola. Abin Bola Emisor. John Joseph Powers. Odula. Brenda A. Odula. Ricky P. Parks. Ohana, 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 Ohana. Tamar Ohana. Jennifer Payne. Quinette Ohanya Enwar. Carly Brooke Pels. Nicole Marie Nichols. Jasmine Renee Pierce. Caitlin Marie O'Leary. Lindsay Michelle Pinckney. Amanda Aller. Megan C. Plover. Ostendorf. Anna Elizabeth Ostendorf. Haley Dawn Pollock. Adriana Yanelli. Brittany Sophia Purcell. Alexandria Michelle Owen. Brady C. Quigg. Giuseppe Vito Pedanastro. Megan Blondell Quinn. Timia? Tamar? Tamaj. Tamaj Dequan Parker Riviera. Marissa Joy Raymond. Palermo. Amber Brooke Palermo. Jordan A. Reeder. Janie Patrice Pearson. Fiamma Gisela Reyes Caballero. Rebecca Lee Phillips. Seth Neil Ross. Rebecca Lynn Pierce. Caroline Elizabeth Riley. Rebecca Lynn Plantholz. Nicholas Michael Rispoli. Nadia Elise Poto. Nadia Elise Poto. Megan Lee Ross. Putan. Casey Kathleen Putan. Leanne M. Rund. Sydney Marie Palmer. Taylor Joy Smith. Jalen M. Prince. Nicole Deanna Sanders. Haley Radel. Yatunde Adaranke Sawe. Deandra Quine Reeder. Benjamin Adam Shuck. Alexis Nicole Reese. 
Brittany Scott. Victoria Kerr Richardson. Angelica Spacanitas. Ariel Francis Ross. Kinza Ali Shaw. Parker Ellen Ross. Christopher Nicholas Malagari. Allison R. Rottenberg. Julie Coleman. Elizabeth Marie Sanford. Samantha Ann Roscom. Jessica Marie Sanders. Samantha L. Schlageter. Megan Saunders. Matthew Glenn Stisling. Shank. Thomas Vincent, Vincent Shank. Habtamu Bele Shumaye. Jacob Anton Shuley. Eric Nathan Siegfried. Kayla Rose Siegelstein. Paul Silva Jr. Venus Shadavi. Venus Shadavi. Sarah Catherine Smith. Raymond Warren Jeffries. Stephanie Renee Smith. Boham. Boham. Anne Boham Lee. Ty Smith. Reddick. Jacqueline Rose Reddick. Jacqueline Rose Reddick. Tyler Ann Allen Smith. Shots. Oops. Shots. Mark Francis Schatz. Hannah Elizabeth Snyder. Amanda Nicole Ward. Alyssa Samnasri. Justin Michael Shields. Caitlin Nicole Spangler. Balu Fofana. Diana Lauren Spencer. Nicole Taylor Sharon. Zachary Ty Stampley. Celeste Scovira. Celeste Nicole Scovira. Maya Taylor Stevenson. Candice Hewen Smith. Ashley Nicole Stinson. Sydney Victoria Smith. Christopher Michael Strong. Zane P. Smith, Jr. Rachel Lynn Talapan. Desiree Lalani Sojourner. Elizabeth Colleen Taylor. Sword. Hillary Page Sword. Jenna Elspeth Taylor. Alexis Juliana Spearman. Alexa. Melissa Elizabeth Teese. Sarah Elizabeth Stahl. Jakari Dominique Thompson. Standiford. Shannon Nicole Standiford. Morgan Nicole Thrush. Beth Elaine Stevens. Kristen Deanna Tremblay. Colin Austin Stone. Carly Elizabeth Trimble. Super. Kelly J. Suprick. Kayla Marie Tuis. Brianna Shante Tate. Nicole Uday. Grant Michael Taylor. Gabrielle Nakia Vanja. Sonale Tapa. Sonale Tapa. Heather Marie Veal. Julie Natalie Thomas. Catlin M. Vicino. Shane Stephen Thomas. Aaron Allison Ward. Tornitori. Christina Marie Tornitori. Brandon Lee Wareheim. Jenna Lynn Tulio. Sarah Elizabeth Weaver. Kaylin Christine Svat. 
Sean Murphy Welsh. Elizabeth Ung. Jennifer Ann Westover. Shannon Nicole Trimmer. Jessica Lee Whalen. Amanda Lynn Vanover. Richard John Witt. Fachica. Gregory Thomas Fachica. Blake Edward Williams. Kinjil Vias. Kinjil M. Vias. Morgan Hillary Viscara. Emily Claire Walsh. Tyler Matthew White. Dion Darius Washington. Jamie Lee Rose Wise. Timothy Alexander Walsh. Landon Ross Witz. Daniel Matthew Weiser. Kayla J. Wood. Erica Audrey Winter. Jory Danielle Zeglin. Cynthia Brian Weidman. Owen James Woodcock. Whitaker. Jamie Lynn Whitaker. Samuel S. Yim. Crystal Monique Whittington. Crystal Monique Whittington. Rebecca Nicole Zapia. Wetherington. Trevor Austin Wetherington. Meng Ting Wang. Brandon Patrick Willis. Jennifer Victoria Wallet. Tiara Monet Wiggum. David Robert Wu Tan. Amanda Nicole Winkler. Margaret Ann Windsor. Ann Elise Warner. Danielle N. Yurjevich. Jillian N. Wolfert. Chloe Elaine Zikopoulos. Victoria Cynthia Woodland. Shitra Naomi Davidis. Anthony John Riverito. Cheryl Ann Zilumki. Madam President, this concludes the individuals receiving baccalaureate degrees from the College of Health Professions and all graduates for this ceremony. Will all bachelor degree graduates please rise? As a symbol of your new status, move your tassels from the right to the left. Everyone, the class of 2016. Now will everyone please stand and join Ms. Bram and Mr. Snowden in the singing and signing of our brand new alma mater, My Towson. You will find the words on the back inside cover of your commencement program. Pages turn from 
different paths we've come, down different paths we'll go, with change and through time our spirits grow. Oh, Towson, our alma mater, make your story told, and find moments to look back to days of black and gold. In honor of the conclusion of Towson University's 150th anniversary and in celebration of the beginning of a new era for the institution and our new graduates, the Stephen Hall's Hall bells will toll for 151 seconds as you depart the arena today. President Schatzel, her party, the faculty, and graduates will begin the recessional. I ask members of the audience to please remain seated until all have left the arena. Guests may then join their graduates on the patio. There are flags numbered one through four placed throughout the Tiger Courtyard to serve as meeting locations for graduates and their families. We recommend you contact each other via your cell phones to determine a meeting place. Again, we offer our best wishes and congratulations to the class of 2016.